Hey there. So today we're going to fill in our generations of drift worm activity. So in this activity, we're going to take a look at exactly how genetic drift works. So remember from our notes, we said that genetic drift is basically the random process of traits or genes being passed on to the next generation. So it's not like natural selection where uh, a trait is actually being favored or unfavored. Genetic drift is random selection. So the best way to, uh, to simulate randomness is with rolling a dice. So what we're gonna do is we're going to pick five colors for our right, our initial, you know, ground zero generation. So let me grab my colored pencils here. So I'm going to grab um, red and orange, blue. Uh, I'm going to do brown. And then last one, I've got like this kind of pinkish color that I really like. So let's do that one because I want to try to get the colors to stand out. So set these to the side. So I'm going to make this first one my pink color and then orange for number two. Number three is going to be red. Number four is going to be brown and number five is going to be blue. Okay, so hopefully that we zoom in just a little bit. Oh man, my pink and red really look familiar or look very similar. Let me see if I can. Does this look more red? A little bit. If I, in the right light, it does. Okay, we'll try to keep the lighting good. So we've got our initial um, drift worms here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a dice to determine which of these traits will get passed on to the next generation. Because one trait is not necessarily more fit than another. Because um, remember, genetic drift is random. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a die five times to figure out which of my five traits gets passed on to the next generation. And then I'll be able to color in that generation. And then I will do that over and over and over again until I reached um, a fixed allele, basically until all five of my drift worms are the same color. So I'm going to head to Google and I'm going to ask Google to roll a dice for me. So I rolled a number four. So in order to keep track of which numbers I rolled, I'm going to draw a line from number four up here to this first drift worm in generation one so that I know I rolled a four. Now, if I roll a six, I'm just going to ignore it because there obviously is not a sixth drift worm. So I'm going to roll again and I got the number two. So this drift worm. Roll again, I got another two. So I'm gonna have two oranges, at least in the next generation. I rolled a four and I'm gonna roll again. I got a number two again, oh my gosh. So in my first generation, I've got this first drift worm up here is brown. My next drift worm is orange. The one after that is orange, and then the last one is orange, and then this middle one is brown. So <laughs> right out of uh, the, the gate, I have lost my pink and my blue alleles due to random chance. I just happened to not roll a one or a five, and so those traits are now gone from my population of drift worms. So let's roll for generation two. So I'm going to tell Google to roll. All right, it rolled a five. So that's this drift worm. We're going to roll again. Oh, I got a six. That one doesn't count. So I'm going to re roll. Oop, got a six again. Okay. Got a five again. So five. Roll again. I got a six again. Come on, Google. I got a five again. All right. Rolling again, number three. And my last roll is a two. 
Okay. All right, let's see what we got. So uh, my first three are orange. Right, so orange, orange, orange. And then my last one. Oh, wait, is that all orange? Oh my gosh, they're all orange. Ha, huh, I only rolled oranges. That's awesome. So it only took me two generations for my alleles to become fixed. That is so crazy. Normally it doesn't take that, uh, normally it takes a lot longer. Thanks, Google. Um, but again, it's, it's random. So it could have taken me two generations. It could have taken me 17 generations. So I'll probably do this again just to see, you know, just to kind of get an average. So I'm going to start over. So basically, right, generation three here is going to become my new initial generation. So I'm going to do pink, orange, red, brown, and blue. So I'm basically starting over because I want to see genetic drift two or three times to really get a sense of how random, right, how long it takes to reach, right, that fixed allele. So I'm going to tell Google to roll again. So let's roll for our, basically our first generation again. So I rolled a number one. And I'm going to roll again. I got a number five. Oh, wait, I don't know why it went down. That's fine. One, five, I got a number three. We'll just work backwards. It doesn't matter. I got a number two. And then I got a number three again. All right, so let's take a look. So my first drift form up here is going to be red. My next drift form is going to be orange. And then I've got red again. And then brown and then pink. So I've again, I've already lost my blue allele. So it's gone. I have two reds, orange, brown, and pink. So let's roll for our second generation. I rolled a four. And then I rolled another four. Let's roll again. I rolled a five. All right, I rolled a two, roll again, I rolled another five. Oh my gosh, okay. So my first, my first one, my first drift worm for here is gonna be brown. Second one is gonna be brown. Um, third one is gonna be pink. Fourth one is going to be oops, orange. I almost grabbed the wrong color. And the last one's going to be pink. So I have lost the red allele, so that one's gone. So I'm down to three colors in this generation of my drift worms. So let's take a look at the next generation. All right, I rolled a one. All right, let's roll again. I got a two. Okay, so so far we got brown. I rolled a one again. All right. Roll again. I got a five. And my last roll, I got a three. Ooh, so it looks like orange is gone. So I've got brown, 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 and then pink and pink. Okay, so I'm now down to two out of my five initial colors. So let's roll for the next generation. All right, I rolled a one because again, I need to I need to go till they're all the same color. And I rolled a two. I rolled a three. Okay, what do you want to bet? It's a four next. Nope, it wasn't. It was a number one. Number one again. Oh man, if it's a one, two, or three, it was a two. <gasps> Brown. So all five of my drift worms are now brown. I have fixed my alleles, right? Because what we mean by that is the alleles are fixed because no matter what I roll, all the drift worms after that will always be brown. So genetic drift leading to right evolution or change 
in a species over time through random chance. So I did this twice. The first time, it only took me two generations to reach um, the fixed alleles. The second time, it took me one, two, three, four generations to reach my fixed alleles. I could do this a third time if I wanted to, um, but I think we uh, hopefully understand the process here of rolling the dye to uh, fix the alleles. So what I would like for you to do is to practice this on your own, right? You've copied mine exactly as you see here, but on the other example um, in our notebook, um, page uh, 115, you're gonna do this yourself with your own die, you're using Google or maybe a dice you have at home to uh, represent genetic drift, okay? If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. See you next time.